Hello everybody, Lance here and uh, today let's take a look at the viewport itself so in order to do stuff in the viewport you must first learn how to navigate it so hold down shift and middle mouse button to uh, pan the camera perpendicular to the view direction hold down control and the middle mouse button to uh, move forward or backward and finally just click the middle mouse button and drag to rotate around like so now if you notice there is an invisible pivot for the camera rotation it's around here so how do you control this uh, invisible pivot so the first way to do that is to select something and hold down the tilde key now the tilde key is the key next to number one on your keyboard so hold down tilde key and move your mouse cursor to the view selected uh, corner and release the tilde key. Now the camera will move to the, your selection and the, the pivot of rotation will be the center of your rotation, I mean your selection. So again, let's select everything and hold down tilde and select view selected like so and now the the center of rotation is somewhere around here so that is the first way to um, change to control the pivot of rotation the second way to do that is to use the the shift b hotkey okay now you can draw a rectangle to move the camera into and the pivot of rotation will be the center of that rectangle that you drew earlier so I can zoom into this uh, light and now the camera is rotating around the light and I can now zoom in here and and the camera is now rotating around around here okay so that is how you navigate the viewport let's move on to the next step object transformation now by transformation I mean move, rotate and scale. Okay, so select something and now you can see we have a nice gizmo and these gizmos are self-explanatory so you can experiment with them by yourself. Now a real Blender user must learn the hotkey to for these commands. Okay, so you don't have to keep moving your mouse uh, to this tool and then click on these to uh, transform uh, this is uh, the slower way of doing stuff the fast way is to use the hotkeys okay so you don't have to select these tools just hit G for move and R to rotate and S to scale okay now you can see that the move is perpendicular to the view direction <coughs> and similarly the rotation command rotate around the axis of uh, the view direction so how do you lock the uh, axis of transformation so it's actually pretty easy so first you activate the transform command and then hit the axis key on your keyboard x for the x axis and y for y axis and z for z axis now if you notice we can also transform the uh, objects along a plane instead of an axis so how do you do that using hotkeys so the way to do that is first activate the command for example G and then shift X to uh, not transform along the X axis and now the object is transforming on the the Y and Z plane okay and shift Y to not transform along the Y axis and similarly shift Z to not transform along the Z axis okay so now that you learned some basics of transformation let's do something fun using these basic simple commands okay so let's make a simple table using just these commands so SZ to uh, scale along the Z axis alright like so maybe a little more okay now SX to I mean SY to scale along the Y axis 
like that. Now this will be our tabletop. So GZ to bring it up a little like that. Now let's create some legs for the table. Now you can click this add menu up here to um, add an object or you can hit shift A to bring up the same add menu. So let's create say a cube. All right. Now hold down the tilde key and go to the right view and SZ to scale it up a little and S shift Z to scale it along the XY plane like so and go back to the right view GZ to bring it up a little and now our, our leg is a little too long so SZ to scale it down a little like that now hold on to the key and go to the top view now we can see an outline of our table leg here and bring it to the corner using the G command and now we need to copy this uh, leg to the other corner so the hotkey to copy is shift D now the shift D command also activate the the move uh, the move command okay so X to lock it along the X axis and place it here now we have two nice t table leg Okay, so hold down shift and select the other leg using the left mouse button and uh, shift D and then hit Y to lock it along the Y axis and move it around here. To make things uh, more precisely, go to the top view and see, alright, maybe bring it back up a little, like so. Alright, now we have some table legs. However, this table looks very weak because there are no support structures around the legs. So let's go ahead and create those. So shift A again to bring up the add menu and create another cube. And go to the right view and SZ to uh, scale it down a little. Like so. GZ to bring it up move forward a little and bring it up a little more there we go and SY to scale it along the Y axis like that and now you can go all the way here to make it a little more precise so S, SY and scale it up a little and GZ to bring it up a little like that now we need to scale this along the x-axis as well like so and bring it here alright and copy it to the other side hit x to lock it al along the x-axis there we go alright so shift a again and create another cube now this time go to the front view and similar to the other supporting uh, cube Let's scale this down a little, like so. SX to scale it along the X axis. A little more. Alright. Let's go to the right view. And we can see that uh, this one is a little taller than the other one. So scale it along the, the Z axis a little. And there we go. So go to the top view and um, yeah maybe not the top view GY to bring it along the Y axis and SY to scale it along the Y axis like so GY bring it a little bit further SY scale a little more alright now shift D and Y to bring it all the way here now our table is complete now this is not the best way to model a table okay there are better ways to model the table and that will be the topic for the next video i'll see you next time